that's what he educated me and said, no, 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 honey, you're straight. I'm, don't you look at me like a woman? I said, yeah. She's like, so where do you find the word gay? And that's when I realized, yeah, I'm not gay at all. I'm, I'm an alpha male that's attracted to femininity and that's exactly what I got right here. Being called gay is the least of your worries. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com, ladies and gentlemen, 50% off the entire store. I'm ending it tonight. So if you don't get the stuff 50% off, it ain't happening no more for the rest of the year. So if you want products 50% off, go to Tatum Store. You don't have to put in the code. It'll automatically apply at checkout. Also, when you see something that's sold out, hit notify me when made available. It's right underneath the sold out part. Hit notify me. If we can identify which products are, are going to be the hottest, then we'll go back and remake it. If it's not hot, nobody's requesting it. We're not going to make it. We're going to sell out and be done. All right. So make sure you hit notify me when made available. Like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies. This trans thing is getting more and more popular around the, around the country. And, and we see more and more of these situations where men are trying to justify being with a transgender. Let me just say this very simple. I don't care what people do in their own life. If you want to transition, you want to date a trans person, who cares? But you decided to put this all over social media and on the internet, so now people got to comment on it. Also, homeboy, and I want y'all to see this video because obviously he goes through and describes it, but bro, being gay is the least of your worries. <laughs> you in a relationship with a chick with a wang wang. What are y'all doing in the bedroom? Bro, the thing, what are y'all doing in the bedroom? A little bit of research, you will realize that the woman that he messes with do porn. So what are you actually, like, which angle are you offended by? You dating a person that does pornography, or you dating a person that's, that's identifying as a woman with a penis, or you mad because somebody may call you gay. Bro, which one of these are you offended by? Let's roll the clip, because I want y'all to hear his explanation, and it's hilarious to me. This is Jesse. He fell in love with Cassidy. I'm a proud trans woman. The main misconception that people have is that He's gay. That was very <laughs> the main misconception that they, she, listen, the person didn't say, I'm a woman, right? I mean, it, it, I thought you were a woman. Just say, I'm a woman. But you say, I'm a trans woman. And people, the misconception is that he's gay. You know what trans woman implies? It implies that you're a man identifying as a woman. Of course he's gay. All right, keep right. going. I didn't know that he was open to having a relationship with a trans girl. I was brought up around a very masculine family, very toxic masculinity household. <laughs> I was always taught to act out, be the tough guy. So now you're gay. That's what... <laughs> Natural woman is who you're supposed to be with, and that's it. And if you're with anybody else, if you're gay, if you're ever with a trans girl, you're going to be out of this household and out of this family. My friends and family, at first, they were shocked because the alpha masculine tatted up male is now dating a transgender woman. My family was worried about their reputation, not mine. The whole entire world's gonna know my son's gay. He's dating a <laughs> trans girl. He's so on Jordan right now. That's kind of funny. This is a best friend of mine who's been through with me through all points of my life, so we're giving him a call. And See, let me, hold on, let me, let me pause it real quick. Like, so let me, this is a follow-up question that somebody need to ask him. Then what is it about this woman that you, you say is a woman is attractive to you? Like, if it's looking like a woman, you can get a woman that look like a woman. If it's a woman that look like a man, there's women out here that lift these weights and they be taking them steroids and they got the voice and they got the man face. Like, what is it about this person that make you want to go up and beyond to be in a relationship with them? Just be honest. You really want to be with a man. All right. See what he has to say because he was reluctant on our relationship in the beginning. All right, come on. I Hearing that I was dating a woman like Cassidy that's trans. I was, you know, definitely a little uh, shocked and apprehensive. It got blown up back here at home. And, uh, you know, knowing you my whole life, I didn't know that, you know, 
I didn't see that. One of, one <laughs> of the first things that probably came out was probably he's gay. People definitely have that that perspective on it. I, I was just very much confused. I was confused too. Cassidy educated me and said, no, 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 honey, you're straight. I'm, don't you look at me like a woman? I said, yeah. She's like, so where do you find the word gay? And that's when I realized, yeah, I'm not gay at all. I'm, I'm an alpha male that's attracted to femininity. And So I thought I was gay until he told me I wasn't gay. <laughs> oh my God. This is, it's kind of cringy and hilarious at the same time. It's, it's so many questions I have for a person like this, but anyway. That's exactly what I got right here. What was your first impression of hearing that Jesse was dating a child? That's kind of weird to do sound like a girl though. That's so weird to me. I, I mean, hey, have your own life, man, but I think it's Thanks, weird. Uh, I didn't know that he was open to having a relationship with a trans girl. So it was definitely, it was shocking to me at first. It they was plan. for all of us, but when I saw how happy Jesse was, that it all, all my transgressions went out the window. Yeah. And I realized it doesn't matter to me. It, it, it's what makes Jesse happy. I, I really appreciate so you, Jordan, for seeing me as I am and not what other people say about me and what other people project onto me. Like I said, Jesse's happiness is what matters to me. Awesome, Jordan. You're the best. Hey, brother. I appreciate you. All right, let's let's move on. The thing is, is that why don't y'all just live your life? If you really think you're a woman, why call yourself a trans woman? I just don't understand. Like, I, I don't understand where, where these people are, how they navigating this stuff. It's like you want to be treated as a woman, then just call yourself a woman. And don't call yourself trans because you're a woman, right? Then what? Then what exactly are you saying? Just call yourself a woman. He's dating a woman. How, how, why do your friends need to know this person is trans? That has nothing to do with anybody. You dating a woman, right? She thinks she a woman. You think she a woman? Then you just dating a woman, and, and she never tell. She y'all don't have to tell the world that she trans. But what it what, what what's happening, y'all? It's an agenda. It's an agenda. It, it's. I don't I can't put my finger on it, but there's an agenda here. Because it's something where they still opening that window for trans. I'm a trans woman. They never let that title go. Therefore, to me, it's it's almost that buffer into emasculating men into homosexuality. I, I'm telling you that's what it is. Because maybe it's easier for a beta like him that's kind of on the fence. To ease into it by dating a, a dude that look that look like a woman. And they trying to pull as many men as they can into the middle, into the into the middle ground, and they they either stay there in the gay zone or they go full gay. That's what I think the agenda is. And it, it, to have a TV show about this, it's trying to push an agenda. I mean, of course you would know this person is a dude if you look at that chin. Cause that's a strong chin right there, and that's a masculine. Look at the hands and the shoulders and stuff. That, you, that the big old head and the little body. That's that you can tell something ain't right there. But nobody really know though, because they ain't pulling your britches down. So if people really genuinely just wanted to fade off and be themselves, they just wouldn't broadcast it like this to the world. But anyway, tell me what you think about the dude. I mean, of course, if a man is attracted to male genitalia. That man is gay, or he has gay tendencies, or something, whatever you want to call it. If the man is openly practicing a relationship, he definitely is gay. But but my whole thing is this, and I'm gonna shut the front door. Why do you care if people think you gay? You openly dating a dude that transitioned. So what what's what why is gay so much crazier than dating a dude that's transitioned? Anyway, this stuff is it's kind of fascinating to me. But anyway, comment in the comment section. I'll see you on the next one.